telling you, you missed a show. Was it Michael Jackson came on and he yeah. has got, I'm telling you, Uncle Uno in there has got some moves. Oh, yeah. He's just, just a little sneak peek though, just a little sneak peek. <laughs> oh man, he was cracking me up. Exactly. Um, I used to be a guardian. You did? Yeah. yeah. There was a guy who was seven foot tall, and his name was Nate, and he could do Michael Jackson moves to a T. At seven feet tall? At seven feet tall with a size 18. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that he is. He could really walk and everything, you know. He, he That's impressive to be that tall and, and that like nimble and coordinated. Dang. Yep. I gotta, I gotta start watching more YouTube videos. Brush up on my dance moves. Get more than my shoulder going. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure that's how my little brother learned like certain moves. Like when he was younger, it was such a thing to like look up YouTube videos and learn how to dance. He's a really good dancer, but like when he was younger, he's like, yeah, I learned it on YouTube. I'm like, what? I gotta, have, I gotta have you like a YouTube Monday or something. Just like train myself, find dance videos. Get ready. Get ready for Tuesday. <laughs> All right. Here we go, guys. We're back. We're live. We're ready to roll. To everyone joining us virtually, thank you for tuning in. For you wonderful folks here joining physically, thanks for being here. And uh, I'll get right into the quote. It says, today I will love myself enough to exercise. Today I will love myself enough to exercise. I like this one because it puts That's it will right, yeah. <laughs> it should be every day, but I, I unfortunately don't think everyone has that mentality. Um, I think sometimes exercise can be seen as like a chore, right? Or something that you're dreading. And I get it. Some days you're like, oh, I'd rather sit on the couch and eat potato chips, right? Like sometimes that is just what you're craving. But if we think about it, our bodies are built for motion, movement of all sorts, right? And if we don't give our bodies that movement every day, we're just denying them a little love, you know? And so I like this because it says, I love myself enough to exercise. I love myself, so I'm gonna move. I love myself, so I'm gonna give my body what it needs and what it craves. And you can call it exercise. You can call it rehabilitative strengthening. You can call it grooving, moving, dancing with the stars. <laughs> you can call it whatever the heck you want. Just move your body, right? Move it in one way or the other. Uh, lucky for us, we have a little viewing platform here so that you guys can join us. And we call it rehabilitative strengthening in the afternoon. In the morning, we call it gentle stretching and morning mindfulness, right? Any kind of movement is good. It doesn't have to look a certain way as long as it feels good in your body. Right, giving yourself that self love, that self care. Yeah, if you don't move it, you lose it. There you go. <laughs> if you don't move it, you lose it. You heard it here, maybe not first, but you heard it here, folks. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta sometimes it's just getting getting moving, getting started, right? And then just let the body flow. And then let the dance moves come out. And then try and press Tina. Tina's here today, so just watch out. My moves are coming out, guys. Watch out. <laughs> All right, Tina, we have a better playlist today, though. We started it yesterday, and man, oh, man, we're the people hooting and hollering. We had some good energy yesterday, so we'll try and keep that up today. We'll see what goes on. Just have a little fun with it, right? Love yourselves, love your body, love the ability of moving, however that looks, and um, we'll keep going. So, what is, is it Wednesday, right? Still Wednesday? Wednesday? Okay. I thought it was Tuesday for a second, but I know, Tina, I lose it towards the end of the day. Although today I lost it at the beginning of the day. I tried to get into my office with my car fob. It didn't work. So I think I need a little more sleep there. <laughs> All right. For you folks joining us at home, uh, focus on safety, stability, and staying away from injury. Uh, make sure to modify in your body. Do what feels best. All of you guys have beverages, have water. You folks at home, make sure you have enough water to stay hydrated. And uh, let's get this going, right? We good? All right. Let's rock it and roll, friends. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to start off with a little bit of water. Stay hydrated. Of course, when I get that low, I gotta, gotta wet the throat up for that. <laughs> That's a little too deep, even for me. All right, go ahead, come on to your starting positions. So we'll bring our feet flat. Have that spine 
spine nice and long, sit up tall here, and we're going to start with some new all movement with a little bit of breath. So deep inhale here, pull the breath in. Big exhale out, let it go. Good. Inhale, cleansing breath. Exhale, clearing breath. Nice job, you guys. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Lovely. Now always feel free to turn to the breath if you need a little bit of a break. We are going to start off here with a little Al Green. I'm just still in love with you. We're just getting sassy early. Let's go. <laughs> All right, nice tall spine length. <laughs> Lou's already getting into the moves here. <laughs> Lengthen up that spine. We're going to activate the neck first. So go ahead and drop the chin down. Lift the chin up. Drop the chin down. Lift the chin up. Uh, just starting to get some motion here in the cervical spine. Feel the blood flowing. Get the muscles activated. And just let this feel good, right? Let the motion feel good in your body. Let it be an example of how you want your body, right? If you want to speed up, go ahead. If you need to slow down, feel free. Just listen to what your body is craving. Nice job. Keep that breath flowing. Yeah. A little love song with Al Green to start it off. A little love song to your own body, right? Just let that love come into your body here. Come with your hands to the Tina. We're feeling all the love today. <laughs> Good. Don't be bored. Feels like this, you guys. Nice job. Do, do one more each direction. Go down, go up, and come on back to center. Ah, lovely. Still in love with you, Tina. Still in love with you. <laughs> Getting the thumbs down early, early today. <laughs> All right, come on back to a nice, tall spine. We're going to uh, stick with the neck here, but we're going to go side to side. So go to the right, and then to the left. All right, and the left, good. Just alternating back and forth. You might feel some stretch in this, but you also want to feel those muscles engaging, right? So as you lift your head back and forth to center, feel the contractions in your neck. Just allowing the energy to flow through your body here. Breathing. Feeling into it. Listening to what your body wants right now. The breath is flowing, smooth and steady. Nice job, you guys. Couple more, right and left. Go ahead, one more each side. Left and come on back to center. Ha! Ah, lovely. Now keep in mind you might start already feeling your body get a little warmer, right? That blood might be flowing, maybe your breath is moving a little faster. So just tune into that. All of that's normal when you start to move your body a little bit more, but you want to make sure it's within normal limits, right? So if you get a little too warm, or you're going to be too heavy, just slow it down, take a couple of deep breaths. Assess yourself and then start again. Right? All of this should be feeling good. All right, uh, shoulder rolls. Yeah, shoulder rolls. So, nice tall spine again. Lengthen through that back here. And then draw those shoulders up and back down. Good. Up to ears and back down. Up to ears and back down. Nice. Then go forward as well as backwards. Feel free to go side to side. Whatever feels good to release a little extra tension. Uh, I guess we'll switch it to CCR after L Green. We'll see. We'll see what happens. 
me now, I promise. <laughs> we'll see what happens today. It's all right, still got a good beat, still a good song. Uh, exactly, still brewing. We'll groove with whatever music comes on, right? We were killing it even on Monday. We have some old tiny country music, but we're still feeling it. Nothing can slow us down, nothing can stop these moves. <laughs>
Right, so we want to come back to the starting position. You have the option of doing it with just one arm, or if you're able to, bring in a grip of your choice, fingers in between, fingers cupped, one hand assisting the other, and then we're going to slowly inhale, lift the arms up, and exhale, lower. Good, inhale up, exhale, lower. Nice job, you guys. Keep the breath moving. Good, try and keep that spine nice and long. Length from your hips to your head. And again, keep in mind, if there's any pain or pinching, just back off a little bit. No need to force any kind of motion here. If you're working just that shoulder height, or even coming up just off the lap, perfect. Whatever works best for you. I know, it's a little slow song, but I love it. It's a slow love song. Good. Keep the breath flowing here. Nice job, you guys. And yeah, I forgot to mention, but duh, if the motion doesn't feel good in your body, you can do any other motion. Hi. Oh, one, one second. One second. Sorry, you gotta get. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get someone to come over there. Compassion. Understanding the lack of understanding in another. <laughs> Good. Keep moving, guys. Keep breathing. <sighs> nice job. All right. Wherever you're at, get to the highest point that feels good in your body. And then you're going to go side to side. You can either be up over your head, maybe you're out in front, the shoulders. Just really listen to your body. It feels nice and juicy is how I like to describe it, right? Take another inhale here. <laughs> and exhale slowly. He's teasing us again. He's just teasing us with those dance moves. We know they're going to come back out. <laughs> All right, let the shoulders be nice and heavy, you guys. You guys doing okay? All right, we're going to get into our elbows here. So flexion is going to bring that hand up to the shoulder. And extension is straightening it out. Yep, so flexion and extension. Good. So you can do both hands like this at the same time. If it's available, you can also bring your hands gripping over one another. Same hand grip options. Good. I'm going to turn to the side and show you folks at home. You want to make sure that shoulder is nice and heavy, arm is down by the side, and then it is activating the bicep as you curl up, tricep as you lower. Good. Bicep as you curl up, tricep as you lower. Guys, keep that flowing. Good. Motion right now, keep a nice tall spine, really just creating a little extra space in that body. Regardless of the action, whether it's your arm or your leg, you always want to start with a good posture so that your core is stable and then all the motion comes from there. Yeah. Breath moving. Nice job, you guys. arms. I got distracted. I thought I've been distracted all day. What is happening? Okay. Uh, we're going to get into our forearms, right? So pronation is palm down. Supination is palm up. 
So the important thing that we're focusing on is that it's just the motion below the elbow, right? We don't want our shoulders involved. You don't need to rotate at the top of the arm. Everything below the elbow, you're gonna rotate here, right? So palm down, pronation, palm up, supination. Good, now again, same thing. You can do both hands. You can focus on one, or you can take those hand grip options again, right? Alternating back and forth. And what this does is allow one hand to assist the other, right? And it can either assist it, helping with a little strength, or if this is a little too easy, you can actually offer a little resistance. So whatever feels good. I think it changed uh, genres. I put on the same playlist and it's a little different. But, because we had some, it was like way more like, we had Michael Jackson on yesterday, Prince, a little more R&B, I feel like. Still not terrible. I'm not upset. <laughs> Music's music. We're still grooving. Now we just got a little petty, a little Tom Petty for the kids. See, we can still dance to it. <laughs> oh, good. Keep the breath moving, right? Activating just below the forearms. Are you quick it? <laughs> There it is, Tina. I told you it's kick. Do it again, Lou. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's such a power move. <laughs> Man, he was busting that out with some Bon Jovi and you too last week. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Shake it out. Are you good? You need help? I'm good. Good. You're groovy, man. Okay, uh, you can always get into those forearms, massage the muscles a little bit here, right? Loosen up any tension. Now we are going to get into wrist. Wrist flexion and wrist extension, right? So flexion and extension. Man, no one's listening to your sign today, huh? <laughs> Oh, my word. Okay, so same thing again. You can do both hands. You can do one hand. Or you can use the other hand to assist, right? So either helping pull through that motion, maybe you're using that hand for a little bit of resistance, however it works and feels best in your body. <sighs> Good. You can always use the other hand, too, to fully assist here, right? Maybe your hands aren't intertwined, but you're just working at the wrist here. Continuing to work on flexion and extension. All right. How are we doing? All right. When you're done with that, shake it out. Maybe create a little heat around the wrist. Adios, good sir. Um, let us know what you can about Friday. But we got a spot for you. All right. Have a wonderful one. Okay. Um, yeah, it totally changed genres. I wonder what playlist we're on. It is what it is for today. Uh, what are we doing? Finger out position. So, the goal here is to bring the thumb in towards the pads of the other fingers, right? So you're essentially trying to draw your thumb across and then get it to touch every other finger pad. So if you are making that connection, then you wanna squeeze those fingers in as hard as you can or as strong as you can without any pain. Right? And just try to actively engage all the muscles in the fingers and the hand. Now, if uh, that range isn't quite available or that strength isn't available, you can use your other hand to pull those fingers in towards each other. <sighs> Good. Yeah. Nice. And then you could also take the base of the fingers and guide them towards one another. 
good. Nice. Or you can even just take the thumb and take it to the base of each of the fingers. Nice. Good. Maybe there's another option that I'm not showing. If it works in your body and it feels okay, just keep going with it. <sighs> nice. Yeah, like how did we go from Al Green to the Almond Brothers? <laughs> what happened with this playlist? Although I can't complain about this one. This one's okay to me. I'll listen to this. Sp Spotify just mixing it up on us. All right, last one here. Squeeze those in. And shake it out. Good. What? Yeah, as long as it's music, I'm okay with it. There's not much music I don't like, so. It's, what? It, I think it is. I, I realize I have music on like almost all the time when I'm home. There's some kind of music going on. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, last one. Fingers flex in, nice tight fist, and then fingers extend out, open wide. Good. Pull those fingers in, squeeze nice and tight. Fingers open up, nice and wide. Nice. Good. Couple options as always. You can do both hands. You can focus on one. You can intertwine your fingers right and try and squeeze into each other and then use that grip to open them up. Good. Nice, Lou. Or you can even use one hand to help curl those fingers into a fist and then open them back up. Good. Nice job, you guys. Woo. The air conditioning just kicked on. I'm chilly. <laughs> just get in the core. That'll warm us up. All right, a couple more wherever you're at. Last one here. Squeeze those fists in and then open them nice and wide. Look at Here he is. Right at spear fingers for Omar. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, sir. How are you? Good, good. We'll see you Friday. They all, they all leave me. Lou and Tina generally hang tough. All right, guys. Thank you. We will. Yes, sir. God willing, take care, be safe, and have a wonderful couple of days. All right, for those of you at home, we are moving on to and Tina. Tina and I hanging tough once again, girls club, um, legs and core. So let's get back to our starting position. We'll take a breath to reset, we'll have a little sip of water, and then we'll move on, okay? All right.
another nine minute song. <laughs> All my heavy stuff is showing up. <laughs> oh, God. That's like cleaning the house music, though. Where, like the songs just keep going and I don't even know. <laughs> All right, a couple more. Now getting into the 
small muscles of the face, so we'll start with the eyes. Um, I do just want to remind you guys that even though these are smaller motions and they might not seem as heavy lifting as core work or a bicep curl, they can be equally as challenging, right? Because they're tiny movements, but they're also tiny muscles. So if the muscles aren't working, they can strain your eyes, they can strain your face. So give yourself time. If you need a rest, feel free to do that. If you need to take a break and start up again, feel free to do that as well. Just know that these muscles are equally as important and hardworking as any other muscle in the body. So. All right, after that PSA, let's get going. <laughs> so thumb is going to come out. We want our eyes to follow the thumb. And these first two, we're going to actually move the thumb. So we move the thumb while the eyes follow. Rotating all the way around. If you're able to, make nice big circles all the way to the end ranges of your vision field. That's going to allow the eyeballs to stretch all the way to the edges of the sockets. You can always come back in and make smaller circles if that is what your body needs today. Good. Keep breathing. Slow and steady. Nice job. A couple more just like that. Good. Make another big circle here. And bring that thumb back to center. Close the eyes. Release the thumb. Nice job, you guys. So again, it's important for the, this next one. The head stays still, but the eyes move with the thumb. Um, when you're ready, bring that thumb back out. Open your eyes, and then we're going to reverse the direction. So the exact same thing, we're just going in the opposite way this time. Good. Really getting those eyes to stretch to their full range. If you need a break or you need to rest the eyes, feel free to do that. Otherwise, keep that head steady and keep those eyes moving. Nice job, you guys. One more, just like that nice big circle. Come on back to center. Close the eyes. Release that thumb. <sighs> Good. So we're closing our eyes so that we give those muscles a little bit of a rest. Because they're so small, they can fatigue a lot faster as well. You want to make sure you give them the rest and reset that they need, and we'll get going with the next two. So bring your thumb out, open the eyes again. Eyes will stay on the thumb, and this time the head moves. So keep your eyes fixated right on the thumb, keeping the thumb still, and then moving your head side to side. So you're taking the eyeballs all the way to the corners of the eyes. Really trying to eat. Uh, reach those end ranges. Keeping that thumb, keeping that gaze nice and fixed. Good. A couple more, just like that. <laughs> just throw something at it, Tina. <laughs>
breathing out through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Good. And then when you're ready, blink those eyes back open. Oh, yeah, we are into another long song. <laughs> This is another, uh, I put Bob Seger on when I clean the house all the time. Yeah. I just blast it super loud. I go in to clean my bathtub, my shower. Just get it all sparkling clean while I'm jamming to Bob Seger. <laughs> all right. How are we doing out there, guys? You hanging in there? Tina and I are still crushing it. We're doing great. <laughs> Our dance moves just continue to get better. That's really what it's all about. <laughs> Tina's again shaking her head at me. <laughs> okay. Oh, what am I doing? Let me take this off for facial exercises. Ha. Huh. All right. So, first things first, this is a great way to give your body a little love, right? Release some tension. Massage those muscles, no different than a neck massage or back massage, right? Your jaw works over time. You can hang out if you want. What you looking for? Good. If you are going to join, though, I'm going to have you take your chair over there since my mask no, is no. on. In a second, find out. To do what? This is certain, so I got everything. Oh, gotcha. I think you're all set. Yep. All right. Okay. So get back into those muscles, release the cheeks, release the jaw. Just let all that go. All right. First one's first. We're going to open our... No yawning. Yawning is not part of the game. <laughs> all right. I got to be more entertaining. I got to keep her awake. So, we're going to open our mouth as wide as we can, and then release, nice and wide. You're yawning, you're secretly yawning while you're doing that, I can see you. <laughs> Alright, keep that jaw expanding, so you want to get into the joints, right, the muscles, even the skin outside of it, you're going to feel a stretch. <laughs> Nice. Giving yourself a nice relaxing reset in between each one. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple more. And last one. <laughs> Relax. All right. Again, if you need to kind of get in there and massage out the jaw in between sets, feel free. The next one we're gonna do, Tina was already getting a head start on it, smiling very big. <laughs> so we're gonna take the corners of the mouth up and back and away, show those curly whites, good, and then relax. Curly whites, and relax, good. And it's okay to be a little dramatic with this, right? You want a nice big cheesy smile, and then relax. Good. You can alternate too if you want to do one, a nice big smile. And then focus on a little control, just a, a little smile. I don't know how to do a little smile. I'm like... <laughs> All right, keep it going. So pulling those muscles back and then relaxing. Nice. Mm -hmm. A couple more just like this. Oh, that's mine. What am I doing? Man, guys, today. Yeah. <laughs> Easy Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> uh, all right, last one. Nice big smile. And relax. Ha, good. Shake it out. Uh, we're going to keep smiling, but we're going to alternate it, not with yawning, but with puckering. <laughs> so, nice big smile, and then pucker. 
Good. Big smile. And pucker. Good. Smile so you're pulling all the muscles back. And then you're pushing them all forward. Good. Pulling them back. And pushing them forward. And the kissing noises are optional, but I seem to not be able to not make them. <laughs> I feel like every time I do them, I have to. Good. So again, you're kind of alternating here, right, between opposing motions. So you're pulling everything back and up, and then pushing it all forward. Good. Last one here. Nice big smile. Good. And a big pucker. Mwah! And we're done with that one. <laughs> okay. The next one we're going to do, we want to blow our cheeks up with air. So we're going to look like some blowfish. We want to keep those lips nice and sealed. Once your cheeks are filled with air and the lips are sealed, you're going to push that air from side to side. So you're essentially shifting the pressure in your mouth. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. So again, it's kind of opposing actions, right? You're expanding out with the air, but then pulling in with the lips so the air doesn't uh, escape. If you're using one hand, it looks like this. expands the cheeks there. Okay, next one, lip smacks. I always have to lick my lips a little bit, but you want to seal them together as best as you can. And then kind of while you're still pulling them together, you're going to pop them open. Nice. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Couple more. Last one. Nice. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, the next two are going to be for our tongue. So we'll open our mouth and then we're going to take our tongue side to side. So try and really get the corner, each corner of the mouth. Uh -huh. Now if you can, you can speed it up. But if you're going to speed it up, you want to still make sure it's controlled, right? If you speed it up and your tongue goes in different directions, slow it down, stay controlled. Oh, no, I'm the one who yawned. Don't do that. <laughs> it's, oh, no. <laughs> it's contagious. Okay, uh, the next one, we're going to go up and down with the tongue. So again, open the mouth. And then move the tongue up and down. Mm-hmm. Good. If you can, really try and stretch that tongue as far as it'll go both directions. Uh -huh. Nice. Ha. Feel free to shake it out. Release that tongue a little bit. I'm going to take a sip of water. We got two left. One being one that I don't love, but... We do it because it's important. <laughs> is she up and moving? Is, she, is Stevie up? And... 
Oh, okay, okay. I just want to make sure if a ride comes soon. All right. We're going to take the tongue. We're going to bite it gently with the teeth. We're going to keep it in between the teeth while we swallow. So it looks like this. It's definitely a little challenging, right? You really got to force those throat muscles to turn on. Your mouth might get a little drier with this one. Okay, thank you. I thought she was out there. I just want to make sure she was mobile. A couple more. If you need to take a break, feel free. Again, this one's a little bit more challenging. So give yourself a rest if you need and then start it up again. You're doing good. One more for me. There you go. That is so tough. <laughs> you got it. If you need to, if you need to create a little more saliva or take a sip of water, because sometimes, if, like if your throat gets too dry, sometimes you're like, you just, nothing will happen. <laughs> All right, you guys, speaking of, I'm going to take a sip of water. Are you out? Thank you, sir. We'll be here. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Okay, last one. We're sad because it's over. We're going to frown. Although every time I say that, no one frowns. <laughs> All right, so we're going to frown. And then swallow. Frown. Swallow. Mm -hmm. Good. Frown. Swallow. Nice. Couple more. You can always use your hand. I forgot to mention that before, but if you need a little assistance, either on one side or both. Uh, last one here. <sighs> and we're done. Just like that. Easy peasy, just like that. All right, you guys. For those of you joining us virtually, thank you so much for tuning in. Tina, way to crush it today. Debbie, we missed you. Oh, sorry, we just missed you. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Next time. I'll get you tomorrow. We'll rock it out. Because we will be back tomorrow. Uh, we'll be back at 10 o'clock for our morning mindfulness. And then we'll be back again in the afternoon. 1.30 rehabilitative strengthening. We'll see what's going on with the music tomorrow too. I have been a little off this week. I apologize. But we still keep moving. We keep grooving. And uh, you guys have a wonderful one. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.